Yo, what's good? It's your boy, and today we are just going to be talking about extra content I think will be coming with Holotide. For starters, we at least got to introduce what we already know we're getting. This includes some helmets straight out of Rogue Lineage, masks that plagiarize your favorite mobs in game, three weapons, which include a sword, rapier, and scythe, and some race variants. This is what was available last year, and I'm assuming this will all be available this year. But now we got to talk about predictions for what's new this year. I think the main things we're going to get this year include at least two to three new weapons, one of them being a dagger, another being a spear, and three possibly being a big ol' gray hammer, kinda like High Lord's Hubris. Maybe a zombie arm or something would be cool. I also think it would be cool if we got more masks, maybe like an Etheron mask or a Bone Keeper mask, or a skin that would make our bell look like Chaser, how he has like 20 bells, but none of that is really the main thing I wanted to talk about in this video. The main thing is gonna be about an idea I had called the Hollows Alloy. What this will do is it'll be your everyday alloy and it can alloy your weapons like normal, but it will not only alloy them, but give it a Halloween skin. So next time you alloy your Tonto, maybe the center of your guard will turn into a pumpkin and the guard will actually turn into pumpkin stems. Your blade will go orange and the handle could go purple. Of course, this is just a fun little skin idea I had and it's kind of a wild idea. I don't think it'll really happen because that's not really the thing that this game is about. It's not really all about cosmetics. But if it did happen, it'd be awesome. The only other idea I had that would be more probable than what I just talked about is something along the lines of a new enchant. I don't know what it would be called. We'll just call it the Holotide enchant for now. My best guess at how it would work is it would add a new effect something along the lines of scared or horror effect after two to three m1s this effect procs on an opponent which is signified by a pumpkin on the chest almost like nemesis enchant but once it is procced the opponent takes 15 percent more damage and deals five percent less damage but this effect will only last around 15 to 30 seconds i don't have an exact idea yet but after 30 seconds the user will have to wait about another extra 30 seconds for cooldown then the m1s it takes to proc are doubled to four to six m1s and that all has to be within a three second time period and the idea of doubling the m1s each time is that it isn't super busted and just constantly gives buffs every 30 seconds because i also think it'd be cool if it got worse throughout the fight as a lot of in-game halloween events from other games i've played the main idea here being terraria the longer you go on with the event the harder it gets like how in terraria you go from fighting one pum king on wave 10 to fighting 25 by wave 100 at the same time but with all that said i hope you enjoyed my holotide video and have even more fun when the event arrives which is going to arrive around a week or two from the release of this video keep in mind this is all guessing but we do at the very least know that it's coming because it has been confirmed by one of the devs of the game we are 100 percent sure that holotide will arrive we just don't have an exact date as always thank you guys for watching make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.